The next is our first water transport rule, um, FAS, free alongside ship. So that S means ship, so you can't use it if you don't have a ship or a barge. And then below it, uh, free on board. Uh, free on board a ship. So again, you have to have um, a vessel or a barge in order to use these two rules. They won't work otherwise. And you see the arrows here. Uh, the seller is responsible to deliver the goods with FAS free alongside the vessel. So uh, that's a bit of a problem because in reality, when we deliver to a port, we're usually delivering a few days in advance of a ship, and there are other ships that are working there at that dock today. But I'm delivering today for a ship that's going to work next week. So they don't put my freight directly alongside that vessel um, because there are other operations going on there. My freight will be put in a staging area for my ship that's loading next week. The same thing happens when you deliver containers. You don't deliver alongside a vessel. You deliver to a container yard where the goods are staged until that ship comes in. So when we deliver alongside ship, the seller's responsible up until that point. But the seller, in this case, is not selecting the ship. The buyer's responsible for the main carriage. They pick the dock. They pick the um, the port, they pick the ocean carrier, and it could be the worst terminal ever. And I, as a seller, have to deliver there because I have to deliver where the ship is, and my risk is not relieved until my freight is physically alongside that ship. So I'm at a terminal I didn't pick with a carrier I didn't pick, and maybe I'm waiting for a week and something could happen to my freight while it's sitting at that dock waiting to move alongside ship, I have risk that I have no control over. So you have to think as a seller, is this really the rule that I want? Do I want to be FAS free alongside ship or would I have been better to select free carrier, the rule above. Um, still, the name, the dock, and the ship that I'm delivering to, I'm delivering to the very same place, but as a seller, my risk ends when my truck pulls up with all of the paperwork, it, it stops then. And then the buyer is responsible if, for uh, arranging and for any risk involved as they unload those goods from my truck. So why would I pick FAS if I could pick FCA as a seller? 